All right, so when I saw that Crocs had a $100 pair of clogs on their website, I definitely wanted to check these out and see how they were because the branding on them say that these were the Echo Storms. Historically speaking, like the Echo Clogs are really nice, but the Echo Slides are one of my favorite slides that they've actually released. It's just like a really cool, different looking pair that has a really ultra comfortable midsole inside of these. So I wanted to try out this $100 version and see how these were and is it worth paying $100 for these or not? I'll tell you guys right out of the gate, probably not, but that's only because they have a lot of other good options for a way lower price point. But let's go ahead and get into some product information about these guys. This is supposed to be an innovating eye-catching pair of Crocs sneakers. It's progressively bold, exaggerated design, builds on the Echo collection, flawlessly blending comfort with an expressive new form unlike any other. This uniquely sculpted sneaker confidently sets the tone for what's possible in molded footwear. Every storm has a story, this one is no different. Has rubber outsole pods for optimal traction and durability, pull tabs for easy on and off, closed heel construction with soft neoprene liner, ventilation holes for breathability, and light ride revolutionary sink in softness for innovative comfort. For the sizing of these, they do run big. I made the mistake of going with a size 10. It fits me like an 11. Uh, I really need a size nine. So I'm gonna be re returning this pair after I'm done with this review, just cause it's not uh, the right fit for me. But regardless of the fit, the overall comfort of these is actually really good as we would expect because of that drop in a uh, light ride midsole. The midsole is super soft and squishy and it's misleading because the Crocs light on the outsole is like firmer and more durable, but you have that soft squishy feel underfoot, which is really, really good. And the reason why I like the Echo line in general. Also on the bottom of the shoe, you can see they added two equal signs, which equals extra traction. Nah, but these actually do add a lot of extra traction to the Crocs light outsole, which I do appreciate. I think it's nice that they actually integrated something and give it a little bit more of a rugged feel. I also do like the neoprene liner. It is kind of nice to have a neoprene liner up around the collar of the shoe. It does feel nice on feet. And that's kind of where the positives kind of end for me on this product, unfortunately, because again, the price point's a hundred bucks. So I have to evaluate, is this worth a hundred dollars or not? Comparatively, the Crocs Echo clogs are amazing for a lower price point. The slides are amazing for a lower price point. Uh, these ones at a hundred dollars is just too much. Unless you really like the style, I think the style is different. I don't necessarily think it's better than some of the other stuff. For one, you don't have the gibbet holes on top of the shoe which is kind of a bummer because obviously that's something that Crocs is known for. You do have two functional pull tabs, but again, it's a pair of Crocs. Usually for the Echo Clogs, it's a lot of hands-free action. You don't really need to use your hands usually when you put on Crocs. And, but maybe these are actually helpful if you have the correct size. Leave a comment in the comment section if you guys found them useful or not. I think that the naming convention as well is something that's just wrong. Like it's the Echo Storms. So for Storm, I feel like these should be water resistant or something where the water rolls off of the shoe considering like, the name of the shoe. But the uh, side right here has the ventilation holes, which is not very much ventilation. I feel like this was the biggest flaw is they added this hole here, these two holes. Uh, so it is like obviously open to get the inside of your shoe wet. Now, obviously it could lack ventilation without that, uh, but it's like go all in or don't do it in my opinion, because now you have a shoe that would have made sense if these two holes would have been plugged uh, for these kind of being water resistant to a pair that's called the Storm that's actually not even water resistant. So I don't know kind of why they did that. They kind of made it mostly rugged, but then exposed it. And probably for good reason, because the Crocs light material in general doesn't breathe very well, which is why you have ventilation holes on all of the other products. The other odd thing to me is the fact that the liner only covers like to down here in the inside of the shoe. I wish they would have done and done a full liner inside of the shoe. It would give it more of a luxurious feel. I think, uh, but they only did half of it to here and I thought that was kind of weird also. Now stylistically, I, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't really think it looks that great, but again, I wish I had a little bit of a smaller size. I thought from pictures it looked kind of cool, but on feet I was like, eh, it looks kind of interesting. Not, not interesting in the best way possible, I guess. You do have kind of that Crocs Echo look to the heel sculpting and stuff back here. Uh, and this is a pretty aggressive slide too. Some people don't like this. If you don't like these ones, even though they are really, really comfortable, you want something like a little bit more streamlined. I'll link these in the description, but I'll also link the mellow slides uh, from Crocs as well, because it's a more streamlined look, very comfortable as well. Uh, but you don't have such an aggressive look as these. So some people might not like the aggressive look. Other people do. I usually like more of an aggressive look, but this one doesn't really complete the task for me with the naming convention, as I mentioned, some of the flaws that they have. So are these worth a hundred bucks? Not in my opinion. If you get them on sale for $50, it's probably a good shoe. It does lack ventilation though, because of the way the construction is. It's not water resistant, so it doesn't really hit either of those boxes, uh, but they do have the added durability on the outside. And the neoprene collar is kind of nice with some functional pull tabs. Although again, Crocs, you shouldn't really be using pull tabs. They're just slide on and go usually. So leave a comment in the comment section. Is this a complete miss from Crocs or is it a miss on my end and something that I'm not appreciating properly? If there's other things that positive or negative that you guys want to add in the comment section, feel free to do so. But I appreciate all 
for stopping by and watching. If you guys do like the content, uh, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and all that other stuff. If you guys do want to buy these or the slides or the other echo lines, which I personally like better, uh, I'll link them in the description. You can go check those ones out. But have a good one. Hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more random content. All right, peace guys.